Monster hitting Gennady Golovkin enters as a marginal favorite when he puts his WBA Super, IBF and WBC middleweight gongs up for tender against Mexican terror Solcano Alvarez in the Box Nation screen shootout on September 16. But the ace faces a British boxing beg to differ with the bookies when Glenn Evans canvassed the trade ahead of what is surely the fight of the year. Anthony Yard unbeaten light heavyweight prospect Kano wins a very tough fight and I think there'll be a knockout. Alvarez has fought the bigger names on the bigger stages and HES also got youth on his side. I also think he has the better boxing IQ. Golovkin's two biggest stages were his last two fights and he didnt produce in either. Anthony Farnell Manchester trainer this can only be a great fight and I believe Golovkin stops him. I love Kano but Golovkin hits too hard and is too good. If GGG leaves his chin out like he did against Kell Brook and Danny Jacobs, he'll come a cropper. But when he fought David Lemieux and his back was against the wall, his jab was great, his defense was superb and he just didnt get caught. I think he'll be similarly switched on against Kano. People forget Golovkin was a brilliant amateur. HE's got loads of attributes other than just power. It's a tough challenge but I think he'll make it look a lot easier than people expect it to be. Dom Ingle Sheffield trainer I'm going to say Kane Lowe will pip Triple G at the post. HE's younger, fresher, has less mileage. His last few fights haven't been as hard as Golovkin's. And HE's not a small middleweight. Alvarez struggles with the weight. HE's naturally a good bit bigger than Kel Brook and Golovkin couldn't drop Kel. I think he'll stand with Golovkin and have a scrap. Alvarez can take it as well as give it. Also, in his last two fights, Golovkin has shown vulnerabilities we previously hadn't seen. If anyone is to trip him up it's Alvarez. He'll go with the Mexican on points, possibly a split decision. Derek Delchasora ex-world heavyweight challenger it'll be a good fight, for sure, and I'm going to go with Alvarez, the man with the better skills, by stoppage. A pure puncher generally struggles against a quality boxer. Enzo Macronelli ex-WBO cruiserweight champion I expect an exceptional fight and I tentatively go with Kane Low. HE's such an accurate counterpuncher and I think HES picked the right time to take this fight which has been mooted for a while. Oscar de la Hoya rarely makes mistakes. In his last two fights, Golovkin has lost a bit of that aura of invincibility he had. It's possible he underestimated Danny Jacobs but he struggled with Jacobs' movement. Previously, he looked brilliant controlling David Lemieux but Lemieux is nowhere near as good as Alvarez. Craig Evans world-rated lightweight I go with Kane Lowe to pick him off and win on points. Golovkin walks forward and takes too many while Alvarez delivers his shots very well. I don't think Golovkin is over the hill but he got exposed a bit in his last two fights. It'll be a good fight, obviously. Daniel Dubois undefeated heavyweight prospect I'm expecting a very good fight while it lasts but I think Triple G carries the power to go through Kane Lowe and stop him around the 9th or 10th. HE's coming off a couple of bad nights at the office but I expect him to rise to the occasion, here. Derry. Matthews X WBA interim lightweight champion I go with Golovkin in about 8 rounds. HE's not shown his best for a while but he'll get up for this and, if HES anything left he'll win. Alvarez is brilliant at opening opponents up but I don't think he possesses enough power to hurt Golovkin and I expect he'll get beaten at his own game. Adam Booth London trainer manager it'll 100% be a great fight and my pound is with Kane Lowe on points. Golovkin has an edge and brute power and if Kane Lowe tries to stay long, he'll get marched down. But I think Kane Lowe is too bullish to let that happen. Alvarez is the more accomplished all-round and the more skilled up close. HE is not easy to catch on the inside. It's Kane Lowe's defensive ability that will be the key to him winning this fight. Gary Lockett Cardiff trainer I'm expecting Kane Lowe to outmaneuver Golovkin. It's a young man's sport and Golovkin's not getting any younger. Alvarez appears to be improving with every fight whereas a lot thought Golovkin lost to Danny Jacobs, a fighter who managed to keep him on the outside. We've not really seen Golovkin's chin tested. Curtis Stevens is a banger but never really hit Gennady clean. Alvarez throws great combos but also punches with enough power to hurt Triple G Terry Flanagan WBO lightweight champion tough one. It'll be very exciting to watch. It'll go with Kane Lowe on points in a very close fight. I've never seen either of them really hurt so I doubt there'll be a knockout. Golovkin's got a good jab and underrated boxing ability. HE's not just a powerhouse. 
but Kane Lowe has improved massively since his loss to Floyd Mayweather and I expect to him to really target Golovkin's body. I see the judges giving all the close rounds to Kane Lowe, whether he deserves them or not Martin Bowers London trainer it'll be a cracking fight and it's very hard to call. Their styles are made for each other. I think youth is going to take over and Kane Lowe will prevail, probably on points. I think HES getting Golovkin at just the right time. I like the way Golovkin conducts himself and he brings the edge in experience and power but against Danny Jacobs, he seemed on the turn, battle worn. HE's already made his mark, made his money. Kane Lowe can be reckless but you've got to love his aggressive style and his attitude. I love his short work and he always sells a fight well. To win, he has to push Golovkin onto the back foot, kill his space, smother his work. HE's capable of that. He covers up good and keeps his hands high. Liam Smith x WBO super welterweight champion I think this is going to be an unbelievable fight for the fans. Both are real class acts. I edge to Kane Lowe on points. I think HES now big enough to handle Golovkin's power and is superior to Triple G in most of the other departments. Liam Williams British super welterweight champion it's a pick em fight but I go Kane Lowe, probably on points. HE's the more skillful. I like his ring craft, shot selection, upper body movement. I expect them both to be wary over the first four to six rounds but eventually it'll open up into a corker. Golovkin HASNT looked too great in his last two. He could shine again but I sense HES just gone over the top. Alan Smith London trainer easy one. I think GGG will be far too good for Kane Lowe. Alvarez couldn't stop Matthew Hatton and took a long time to break Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., a fighter who Triple G Woodvade destroyed. You've got two kids who come forward so it'll be a great fight for the fans. I don't think Golovkin is over the top as some are saying. You can't look great in every fight and Alvarez has been around just as long and has had far more fights. Kane Lowe has got impressive hand speed and Triple G ISNT hard to hit but he has an incredible chin. Golovkin wins because HES the tougher man, probably on points. Bradley Skeet World ranked welterweight Triple G for me. On current form, most seem to be going for Kane Lowe and HES certainly matured a lot since Mayweather schooled him. But Golovkin has the better power and better boxing brain. It'll probably be KG to start but once it heats up it'll become proper lively. Golovkin's current form ain't good, he was poor against Danny Jacobs, so HES do a good one. I see him overpowering Alvarez and stopping him late. Jack Catterall World ranked super lightweight. These are two greats whose styles should gel nicely. Both get stuck in and go to war, so hopefully there'll be fireworks. Golovkin has very heavy hands but I fancy Kane Lowe. I think he'll be far more comfortable up at middleweight. HE's improved big time since he lost to Mayweather. HE's got a good boxing brain, clever angles and footwork, plus his defense is good. Tommy Langford British middleweight champion mate, I keep chopping and changing it's gonna be a hell of a fight between two class acts. They're definitely gonna meet 12 months ago, I was 100% on Golovkin but recently HES shown a little bit of age and started to neglect his good boxing. He just walked after Danny Jacobs and his defense was really poor against Kel Brook. If he defends like that against Alvarez, he'll get broken up and potentially stopped. Then again, if the Golovkin that slaughtered David Lemieux turns up, I'm gonna go with Kalo, based on the age of Golovkin and his last two performances. He'll not get away with that level against Alvarez. It's only a 5,149 pick, mind. Tunde J London trainer Kalo wins, a million percent HE's younger, fresher, the man on the up, has the better boxing IQ, people criticize him for being flat-footed but I don't see that. You can't transfer the weight from your legs to your fists if you're a bouncing around but I think Alvarez's footwork is good. No way would Oscar de la Hoya risk his cash cow unless he was very certain. Golovkin's on the way down and Kane Lowe might even stop him in the final third. Josh Leather undefeated light welterweight prospect I can't wait for it. They're both really powerful and both have great chins so I think it'll go the distance. They'll go toe to toe for 12 rounds and batter each other with body shots. It's a hard one to pick. Alvarez is much younger and more frisky but I go for Triple G based on the strength and power HES got. He drains every opponent down with his pressure. Jamie Conlon world rated super flyweight this has to be the best fight in boxing at the minute. For me, Kalo wins.
I always rated Golovkin as the best fighter in the world but HES now taking too many, just to prove HES a hard man. Danny Jacobs showed the problems Golovkin has with his feet and Alvarez hits far harder than Danny Jacobs does. Kano has the ability to control the distance and keep the fight at range. Stop him not a chance Golovkin eats punches for fun Joe Gallagher Manchester trainer I change my mind every couple of days but I go with Kane Lowe. I think HES been in with and beaten the better class of opposition guys like Ryland De Lara and Austin Trout. Even the loss to Mayweather was a great education for him and it was before he matured into a man. By contrast, Golovkin HASNT had good dance partners. HE's not really been in with any of the top guys. Lemieux and Danny Jacobs are about the best HES fought. Triple G brings the better amateur pedigree. It's possible he beats Kane Lowe with his feet and he'll be keen to deliver a big drama show. Anyone he hits clean around the temple, he'll put on Queer Street. Perhaps Danny Jacobs has knocked some of the complacency out of him, but, for me, Kane Lowe is better at mid-range, better at long-range and hits frighteningly hard to the body. Alvarez on points. There's no way Golovkin wins a decision against a golden boy fighter in Vegas. Lion Woodstock undefeated super featherweight prospect I have no idea. I can't decide. Kane Lowe could box his head off or, conversely, Golovkin could knock Alvarez out at any time. I want Kane Lowe so I'll go with him. I like how he is as a person in HES definitely the better technician. Golovkin is a bit one-dimensional, doesn't have as much in his arsenal. You can't imagine him on his toes. Danny Jacobs exposed some weaknesses. Alvarez has got great head movement, good feet and HES patient. He waits for his shots, chooses the right steps. Peter Fury Manchester trainer I see a 12-round fight and if Golovkin boxes, he wins. If he goes for a KO, he risks walking on two shots and Alvarez hits hard enough to knock him out. Golovkin's not invincible, HES only a man. I favor Golovkin to dominate because HES the naturally bigger man but if he decides to have a T-Rup, it'll be Kane Lowe's night. Barry Jones Box Nation Analyst It's a genuine 5050. Much has been made of the Kazakh's subpar performance last time but Alvarez has a very different style to Danny Jacobs. He should suit Triple G better. Kane Lowe has great judgment of distance and excellent timing but I think he'll need to be more fleet-footed here because Golovkin will land anywhere and hurt you. Though Kane Lowe is the more versatile and can adapt quicker, Golovkin never really needs to adapt. Tactically, you'd say Alvarez needs to hold his feet and back Golovkin up but when fighters hold their feet against Triple G they usually end up on the floor Alvarez is a warrior but he might start to feel sorry for himself when he realizes he can't budge Golovkin, just as he felt sorry for himself when Floyd Mayweather repeatedly made him miss. I edge marginally to Golovkin because of his power but both are real fighters so the sport doesn't lose whichever way it pans out. Paddy Barnes X double Olympic light flyweight medalist I go Golovkin. H.E. is extremely tough and technically much better. I love his Eastern European style. He carries serious KO power and has a granite chin. I like Alvarez. H.E. is fast and the way he puts his punches together there is very exciting plus H.E.S. Mexican. Dot and H.E.S. Ginger but whereas Kell Brook and Danny Jacobs fight in a certain elusive way, Kane Lo Alvarez will try to match fire with fire and it will be his downfall. H.E. is very good but I think Golovkin is on a different level and will stop him. Josh Warrington world-rated featherweight Kane Low. H.E. is the better boxer and has the better boxing brain. H.E. is younger, fresher, more intelligent. Kane Low will need to box smart go back foot and try to draw Triple G in. It'll be entertaining because there'll be times when he has to meet Golovkin head-on. Triple G is the bigger puncher and can be quite subtle but likes to ship punishment. It not say a stoppage is out of the question. Both know how to finish. Joe Pigford undefeated super well to wait prospect it's a really close fight. Both are very exciting. If anyone can beat Golovkin it's Kane Low. HE's come on loads of late and beaten top people. HE's got very good skills. Obviously Golovkin carries a knockout punch but his boxing ability is very underrated. HE's been at the top for a long time now and DIDNT looked great last time so I go Kane Low on points. Liam Walsh British super featherweight champion I'm really looking forward to this. Alvarez is one of my favorite fighters. He can do everything. But I think Golovkin has got the edge. I don't expect an all-out brawl, like most are predicting. Golovkin has a great jab is a great judge of distance. 
He was unbelievable against David Lemieux. I expect him to be more cautious than HESP in his last two fights and break Alvarez up with his jab. Gary Corker in British welterweight contender Golovkin will be too powerful. He wasn't really up for his last two fights but he'll be up for this. I fear Alvarez might be a bit too small. So far, HES shown a very good chin but who's he been hit by certainly, no one like Golovkin. Triple G wins a very good fight, probably on points. Final result GOLOVKIN 11 Alvarez 19